finally, after the longest wait, we finally have Forgotten Gialli Volume 4. Now, wonderful uh, art on this one, as you would expect with this. I jumped straight in um, to the movie that I was most interested of, checking these ones out. Again, I know very little about them, but Arabella Black Angel was one that just jumped out to me. Buy you a drink, lady? I'd prefer to get screwed, cowboy town. She knows her mind, this girl. And if this is indicative of what this set has, we have possibly a trio of sleazy Gialli movies. Now, I think I feel the story for Arabella, uh, Arabella is really kind of lurid and fun. We open up to our character of Arabella visiting. I'm never going to get that name right. <laughs> uh, Arabella visiting um, what seems like. A, a whorehouse of sorts. It seems like a derelict building and there's all kinds of debauchery going on there and she's obviously frequented it. She's going through looking at all the th stuff that's going on. When there's a police raid and, and stuff happens and then we kind of cut to the real Arabella. She is a nymphomaniac. She's living with a husband who can't satisfy her needs. On their wedding day, they were in an accident and he has been confined to a wheelchair ever since. He's also an author looking for inspiration for his next story. When he catches his wife eh, kind of going at it with a man, he watches Arabella cave his head in with a hammer. And this really kind of excites him, excites him sexually, it excites his mind as well as he starts to create a story based around uh, Arabella called Black Angel. Walk over this way. Excite me. You're like the Black Angel. You're like my new heroine. Really good. Um, and from then on it kind of moves into Arabella having all of these sexual conquests, um, but the people that she's having the sex with are dying horrible deaths which is where we get um, the kind of inclusion of Gina, Inspector Gina who is the person in charge of these scissor murder killers it kills um, A pretty messy show Would you like a bite? Could you tell me exactly what happened in here? Glad to there's a lot of blood around because they cut off the guy's dong. I mean his penis, his male organ, his member, you know, including balls, testicles, uh, uh, testicles. She also happens to be the brother of Frank, the wheelchair-bound husband of Arabella. And this trio of characters are kind of forced together to figure out what exactly is going on. Yeah, a message? <laughs> It's wonderfully put together. It has a really good mystery. It takes its time in setting up the plot of the story by not jumping into murders immediately. It gives you a little bit of rope to try and figure out what exactly is going on in this movie. When it hits its um, almost brothel-like scenes in these abandoned buildings, it comes to life in a lurid, weird, uh, off, almost off-kilter feeling. The movie takes into an abstract world of oddity as you see these people in colourful garb uh, flouting their goods looking for business and it's a very much a kind of dangerous world. It feels kind of icky and just not quite right. You've got the multiple say, sub stories as well that all kind of come together like the fact that Frank and Gina are stepbrother and sister, that their mother had some mental issues that um, together they're going to have to figure out what's going on with this murder. You've got Gina's love life. With these scissors crimes, it's all coming out again. For she is a woman that's had a broken relationship. She's struggling to keep her current relationship together and uh, she keeps falling out with all different kinds of people, including her bosses, and it turns out that she's on the run at one point, presumed to be the killer, as she's trying to uncover what's going on. As a mystery movie, 
it builds up so much as an actual just solid piece of storytelling it adds so many aspects to it that make it really fun the, the story that Frank is writing Black Angel parallels what's really going on in Arabella's life particularly well right down to the fact that it, it catches capturing a lot of the conversations as Arabella recounts what's going on in her sexual encounters to titillate uh, her husband's sexual needs and um, book needs as well. It kind of ekes into the story and she gets to read about herself. What made you write all those things? You must know that they're totally untrue. So why did you do it? I didn't kill him. Deborah, you're dumb but I love you seeing a different perspective and, and finding something that she's not a hundred percent happy with. The sleazy nature of this movie is apparent right from the opening shot. Plenty of skin on show, there is plenty of lurid activity happening and it feels just altogether ugh, at certain moments a little bit icky, a little bit um, disgusting at times. But I, I grew into this movie a lot. I really liked Arabella at the end of it. It's one of my it's a real kind of fun jolly movies. One of those jollies that's almost edging into erotic thriller uh, kind of genre as well. But like I said, wonderful abstract scenes at these kind of brothels, uh, wonderful murder sequences, great mystery at the heart of it, um, and one that was really surprising. I felt it was leading you down the path of this is um, the red herring, this is what's really going to happen, but it kind of circumvents that and really surprised me with what was going on with a, a really uh, interesting end to the movie. I liked Arabella Black Angel a lot, fantastic start to the forgotten Gialli four set, can't wait to move on to the next one, which I think is going to be The Colour is Still Among Us. So stay tuned because that review will be coming soon as well. I would love to know your opinion of this movie or if you've seen all the movies, let me know what you think of them. As always, drop a comment down there. We'll have a conversation about the movie. Uh, you can see more of my content up here if you're interested and if you want to click that like button, it just takes a second. And if you really want to support this channel, you can join the membership program or the Patreon and that would be absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching and see you next time.